So, uh, I like Sharky's. This is a nice place. I, uh, wondering who came up with the great marketing decision, the whole Y94 thing. Are we, uh, is there anybody uh, who works for Y90? Any Sharkies employees here? <laughs> oh, the bartender. No. No, I just wonder what that marketing meeting was like, where they're like, hey, we're at Y94, it's a dying medium. Have you heard of radio? It was popular during uh, FDR's fireside chats. Well, we're dying, and we'd like to promote ourselves. We have this new promotion where we spray paint trash bags, and then we plaster them all over reputable businesses using scotch tape. It makes your business look like shit. <laughs> so everybody knows, you know, Y94. <laughs> and they're like, okay, how many signs were you thinking? About 80. <laughs> we're gonna do 80 signs with scotch tape. There he is. <laughs> What a meeting that was. <laughs> Are you guys Syracuse people? Yeah. Okay, by a round of applause, that's everybody. By a round of applause, who listens to Y94? Yeah. Oh, so it's a lot of people. That's cool. Okay, I thought it was nobody. <laughs> It's an FM station, right? It better not be an AM station. <laughs> if they're like, we're gonna put up trash all over the place for an AM station. You can find it, it's the only one that's not static. <laughs> Everybody's mad at Trump. Do people hate Trump so much? I think Cosby's gonna start touring again. <laughs> Cosby. Does anybody think he's innocent? No. He has to have some innocence. I mean, he stole so much of it. So, whatever. <laughs> you guys Trump fans? Are there any self-admitted Trump fans in here? Anybody? You're a fan? Why do you like him? Because he's straightforward. He just goes without... Don't attack her! Go, <laughs> girl! Be Everybody's allowed to have their opinion because he's straightforward. All right. He is. He's definitely the most entertaining president we've had. His press conferences. Okay, the guy with the obvious toupee in the back. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. He probably works for ABC. I can't hear him. Okay, the fat lady next to the attractive one. You, you only get one question. It's not like cookies. You can't eat all of them. I love his temperament. Did Russia meddle in the elections? Who cares? You know who didn't meddle in the elections? We didn't. We didn't. It was like 4th of July. It was like 8 months before the elections. We were like, I don't like either of them. I hate both of them. There's nothing we can do. There's only 8 months to go. There's nothing we can do about it. At least Russia did something. And then the day after, there was like, no, my president, everybody was protesting. It was all the same people that register strangers to vote. You gotta vote, you gotta vote. Well, we voted, you lost. <laughs> Stop telling strangers to vote. I hate that shit. I went to an Ani DeFranco show. I don't know, look, don't judge me. Um, I went to an Ani DeFranco show and she's like, register to vote in the corner. I was like, why are people just aimlessly asking people to vote? Do you know how politically illiterate everybody is? I've been unemployed for nine years. I watch the news 
all day long. I have no clue what's going on. You think anybody should vote? They just re all right, I'm starting to get very political. <laughs> that was a tangential. But like, I support immigration. They're like, what if they're criminals? I'm a criminal. <laughs> I'll put it this way. There are drug dealers and there are police officers and I've never looked forward to meeting a police officer. <laughs> you know that? And we can't build a wall. We cannot build a wall because China has the Great Wall of China. What are we gonna have, the Home Depot Wall of Racism? People spray painting it? Do you know how great China's wall, China's wall is so great, not one Mexican has crossed it. Thank you for repeating it audibly. <laughs> no, it's good. I got a gauge on it. It sounded really good. I like my writing. <laughs> good. I should do that more often. I don't get enough stage on. That'd be a weird thing. Like, if I ever make it, I'm never going to make it. But if I live in Syracuse. <laughs> But if I ever make it, I'm just going to pay strangers to do my act back to me? Or I was like, no, it's good. It's believable. I liked it. The editing was really good. You could work on your delivery a little bit. But that writing is phenomenal. That Trump joke, unbelievable. I, uh, I don't know, politics, like... First Amendment, freedom of speech. Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. That got aggressive really quickly. <laughs> really quickly got aggressive. That's literally the opposite of what I would have come up with. If I was uh, like coming up with it, the first thing would have been like, all right, don't be an asshole and don't shoot people. <laughs> It's like our founding fathers were like, I should be able to insult people before I shoot them. <laughs> That's the Constitution. <laughs> Fifth Amendment, right to life. Fifth Amendment, right to life. That must have been a hard one to pass with all those people. Like, what's the point of having guns if people have the right to live? <laughs> what am I going to do? We need gun reform. You can walk into a gun store right now and just be like, what's the cheapest way for me to get my kids back? <laughs> They'd be like, does your wife have an attorney? This gun holds two rounds. 